Okay, today I'm going to show you how to insert an Excel spreadsheet into a Microsoft Word document. In Office 2007, it's a lot easier to integrate documents and, and work with them together. So let me show you this as an example of that. First thing I want to do is I want to go to the ribbon and I want to click on the Insert tab, left click on the Insert tab. And I'm going to go to this Table button here and click on the black down arrow and I want to insert an Excel spreadsheet. Now I think that Excel spreadsheet and this icon over here should have been a button somewhere up here in this group but then again I'm not a Microsoft engineer so what do I know, right? So I click on the Excel spreadsheet lettering there and what's going to happen is I'm going to get myself a fully active Excel spreadsheet. Now what happens when I I'm already clicked on it. See, it's already highlighted, which means I have an Excel ribbon embedded in this Word document. So I could actually use any. I can go right over the formulas. I could insert, you know, any number of form formulas or functions into this thing. Now, watch what happens when I unselect the table. When I click anywhere off so outside of that table into the Word document, it took away the highlighting. And look what happened. It brought me back to a standard, to the ribbon that's actually used in Word. Okay, one more time. If I highlight this, double click on it, get it active, okay, it, it switches over to the Excel ribbon. All right, so let's get rid of this. I'm going to hit the undo button. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to actually insert an Excel spreadsheet that is already created. So now what I have to do is I have to go under the insert insert uh, tab. I'm going to come over to object under the text grouping. Now an object literally is anything that you insert into another document. It could be a sound file, it could be a video clip, it could be a picture, it could be another, it could be an Excel document for that matter, which it is. So I click on object and what I want to do is I want to retrieve it from file. I don't know why they put create from file. I'm retrieving the file. I go into browse and I know it's on the desktop in a folder called Sophia. There it is. Let me double click on that there. And it's an Excel video example and there it is. Absolute references. And I'm going to click on the insert button. Now, I, I don't want to display it as an icon, nor do I want to link it. Now, if I link it, that means that once I insert this into this Word document, any work done on that Excel file within this Word document would actually make changes to the, uh, to the original document. I don't want that. Now, I'll get into that in another uh, training. So I hit OK. It always takes a minute. And there it is. Now if I double click on this and activate it, okay, the same thing's going to happen. I got my ribbon from the Excel, which I could use any of these tools. For instance, I could highlight these three, and I could go red text, yellow background, and bold it. Or I could very simply, let me show you a little trick. I don't know if you guys ever saw the format painter. If I click into this cell, cell E8, then come over and click on the format painter tool. All I gotta do is left click, place my mouse over the cell I wanna paint, and then just drag it over. It automatically changes it. I also might wanna add in a top border. And let me highlight these three and put in a bottom border. All right? And that's it. Now I'm going to click off of it. It converts back to what it should look like in the Word document. I know it's a little bit skewed over here. didn't come out all the way. You have to watch that. A better idea might be if you go under page layout tab, if we switch the orientation to landscape, 
little bit better. And you might want to click off here and let's say you send in a quick email out. I hope the above um, table explains what you asked for. Something like that. Alright, and that's it. Thank you.